Hey guys, my name is Jack Taylor, and this video is going to be the first family update video from pre-T to three months on T, just to show how everyone in my family is doing with my transition thus far. When I had first come out, my family didn't take it very well. A lot of mean things were said, and pre-T, when they were all saying these things to me, I had written down a lot of things that had stuck with me. So I'm going to read off some quotes of what my family members have said to me. One of the very first things that my mom had said to me was that she had prayed to God that he would take her life before my transition. She also said, you're 20, you're too young to know who you are. She had also told me, stop being so sensitive to our opinions, meaning her and my family. My older brother had said to me, you're making me uncomfortable. I have a brother and a sister, not two brothers. You just need to grow up. I know you best and you aren't a male. You're not a man, you'll never be a man. No matter what you do to your body, you'll never know what it's like to live as a male. My dad had said to me, and I'm quoting him, so excuse some of my language, transgender isn't real, it's made up. You are what you are, leave it the fuck alone. You're fucked up in the head. Transitioning is going to fuck you up even worse in the head. God doesn't make mistakes. The devil is in your ear. This isn't an act of God. And God gave me a daughter, not as another son. When all this was going on, I never really got a chance to explain to them how their words made me feel. I just kind of sat there and took it because with my family, and I'm sure with other families as well, no matter what you say, they're not listening to you. They only think of their opinion and their opinion is the right way, the only way, and they're not going to budge. They're going to stay close-minded. They're not going to want to educate themselves and they're just going to believe what they want to believe. When I had first realized that I was transgender, my biggest fear was that my, I was going to lose my family. And for the most part, that had happened. I can get over what a stranger says to me in 10 seconds. But when a family member says these kinds of things to you, it hurts the heart extremely bad. I would stop talking to them for a while because I didn't know what to say back to them. I didn't know how to react. I'm the type of person who doesn't like confrontation in the first place. So when it's with my family and we're arguing about me and I'm not able to explain to them so they can understand why I feel this way and why I need to do this, it's... It's very frustrating and it's very heartbreaking when your family doesn't support you. I haven't spoken to my father or my older brother since I was fired from work, which was in April, but they haven't said anything to me yet. They never apologized, they just left it at that and that almost hurts just as bad as them saying the words. They aren't taking their time to educate themselves. I've sent them links, I've done what I could. They just refuse to think any other way than what they already are thinking. And that makes it hard to get someone to understand you, is when they're not willing to learn or educate themselves at all. Since my mother had said those things to me, we have fought a few times. Like, when I got my name changed, she wasn't so thrilled about that. She got upset, said some things to me. Hearing me on the phone after we haven't seen each other in a while, my voice is getting deeper, that frustrates her. There's a lot of little things that she gets upset about still. I know that my mom loves me, and I know that my mom's trying. And I know that it's taking my mom a really long time to even accept this. But I am willing to be patient with her because when she gets upset and she says things that she doesn't mean, she apologizes afterwards. And when she uses my birth name and misgenders me, she'll usually apologize. Sometimes she tries. She's tried to say my name a few times. You can tell that it's very awkward and uncomfortable for her still. And a lot of parents are probably going to be awkward and uncomfortable with it at first. You have to give them their time to grieve and get over everything. As much as we want them to just understand, they're probably not going to right off the bat. And going through this and having these little fights with my mom, I notice that every time I don't talk to her for a while or she doesn't or I don't see her for a while, she feels like she's out of my life and that terrifies her and she wants to be in the loop. She wants to know what's going on. As long as I tell her what's going on, she's fine, so that way she can cope with things, and that way when she sees me or hears from me, I'm not dropping all these big bombs and all this news on her. So my mom's trying, 
and that's way better from the start when she had told me that she would rather be dead than have to see me transition. And that was heartbreaking. My mom's my best friend. Growing up, we were extremely tight, and this was like the first time that we'd ever gotten into this big of a fight, and it was terrifying for me because I didn't want to lose my mom. And there was like a few times where she would tell me that she doesn't want to speak to me anymore, and that's a whole different type of heartbreak. So for my mom to be making progress like this, it means so much to me. I just wish and hope that she continues to make progress and gets better with the name and the pronouns because I would love to see my mom as much as possible, but when I'm around her at her house, when she misgenders me and uses my birth name, it makes me very uncomfortable. So sometimes it makes it very hard for me to hang out there and I don't want to not see my mom for a while because that's when she starts to get angry and upset. So I am sacrificing my comfortability for her to get used to it more. And to save our relationship, I would do anything except for not be who I am. So for my mother, she's doing good. For my dad and my older brother, haven't spoken to them, not doing good. It's basically the same before I had even started testosterone. Uh, they don't like it, so they don't like me. <laughs> my little brother has never said anything mean to me about this at all. From the very start, he was like, yeah, you're my brother. Yeah, I love you. What do I do? What do I call you? What's your new name? And only when he's around my mom does he sometimes use my birth name still. Um, but he's getting way better at the name, and it means so much to me. I appreciate it so much, so thank you, Dalton. <laughs> so hopefully by the next family update that I do, my mom has been doing way better. Um, hopefully by then my dad and older brother have come around, but I'm not counting on it. I will always stay true to myself no matter who I'm going to lose in my life, because my main goal in life is to be happy. Being myself makes me happy, the most happy I've ever been. So living as who I am is so rewarding and I wouldn't trade it for anyone or anything. So although my relationship with my dad and my older brother aren't the best right now, um, I would never take back being who I am. I am still more happy than I was before then, with or without them. I do love my family, but I love myself and who I am more. I will always stay proud and I will never, again, hide who I am for anyone. Next, I'm going to talk about my mental and emotional updates from pre-T to now, three months on T. And that's changed a lot, so I can't wait to talk about that. So thanks for watching. Talk to you guys later.